Hello everyone, this is Old School from WeatherBuck.net with our camp review. This is, I guess, day five. Uh, we were out today for practice from 2.30 to about 4.45. The Bucks were in pads again today, which meant we had some full contact action to talk about, and I'm going to kind of go through each of the positions that I watched throughout the workout and let you guys know what was going on. A couple of high points and some low points as well. First of all, I got to watch Coach Millard some more with the defensive line, and I was over there with uh, Charlie Campbell with Pew Report and a couple of other guys, and it's really a pleasure to watch this guy work with the techniques that these guys are going through. And uh, I think our defensive line, which is a, a considerable concern with all the youth there, could end up working out to be a strong suit for this team. I know a lot of people want us to sign a veteran, but what they're doing with these young guys is giving them a tremendous amount of tutoring and walking through every aspect of being a defensive lineman. I know that's what coaches are supposed to do, but it's really a pleasure to watch a defensive line coach like Coach Millard work. And you see the young guys just absorbing it like a sponge. Uh, the guys that really kind of popped in, in drills were obviously Adrian Claiborne, uh, Kyle Moore, Daquan Bowers, Gerald McCoy, everyone was looking really good. Now Brian Price, which is a, he's sort of a center of a lot of controversy down here right now, he ended up leaving during sled drills, went back into the facility, uh, there was no report that I heard. Uh, he didn't look like he was hurt necessarily, and we all know that Brian's rehabbing a pretty significant injury. So if I find out more data, I'll let you guys know. Now the drills, the individual drills are interesting, but it was more interesting when the guys got together either on 9 on 7s and 11 on 11s, and there was a lot of stuff you could see today when they were doing those full scale drills. When that happened, um, Mike McKenzie, uh, middle linebacker, uh, since Barrett Rude left, he's a guy that's, or I'm sorry, not Mike McKenzie, Tyrone McKenzie, I apologize, from USF, uh, again, looked pretty solid. Now, there were a couple plays where there were cutback runs where he disappeared, and I couldn't tell where he went. Uh, I'm not saying he missed the assignment, mind you, but the, the back bounced it back to the middle where I would have expected him to be filling, and he wasn't there. Um, so I'm not sure how that happened, but when I, when I paid particular attention to him, he tended to look very good. What was very obvious today and will be rectified soon with the, with the uh, guys like Davin Joseph and True Blood and James Lee getting back in camp is the right side of our offensive line behind those guys is not very good right now uh, because it didn't matter who was lining up on that left side, whether it was Kyle Moore or Daquan Bowers, whoever it was who lined up over there was absolutely eating their lunch. It was, it was not pretty. And, and so in 11-11 drills, when a lot of the fans were watching and seeing the oohs and ahs for the completions, those completions would never have happened. Josh Freeman would have been flat on his back on many occasions. Now, again, we see these young battles. We talked about Donald Penn uh, and Adrian Claiborne battling. These guys are going to make each other better. better. And uh, Claiborne had, uh, I think, a better day today than he's had so far in camp. And uh, that's not just because I'm a big fan of Claiborne's after getting a chance to meet him. He really did look good in camp. But to be honest, the defensive line in general uh, looked pretty good, as did the secondary. I thought they had a very strong day. Uh, the offense did not look as sharp as they have looked. And that's not to say that Josh uh, doesn't look good because his passes still have tremendous accuracy. Um, but, but he just didn't have an opportunity to work his way down the field the way he would like to, given the pressure that was coming in. Now, with Davin and Trueblood and, and these guys coming back in, I think it's going to be important in order for him to get uh, what he needs going, uh, going. Now, I saw a couple of things today that I hadn't seen in a long time. I saw Kel Winslow block, and block pretty well. He got some accolades from the coaching staff uh, about the blocking that he did as well. Ernest Graham looks very fast. I'm not sure whether he's just healthier because he didn't have as much work in the offseason or what's going on, but he looks very quick with the signing Cadillac Williams by the Rams. That third down back, whether it's going to be Lumpkin or Graham or Bradford, is really up in the air. Uh, and Graham looked good today. Bradford looks good intermittently, but I haven't seen enough of him. And Lumpkin, I just don't know what to expect. I think they expected a lot out of him, but we haven't had a chance to see it. Um, so I think right now, even though Graham is listed as a fullback, I still see him mentally as that third down back until someone else ra you know, rises to the occasion. Um, uh, and, and maybe it's going to be Bradford. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So uh, another note, uh, first of all, we don't see Rudy Carpenter right now. He can't work out. Coughlin, who's the guy that's filling his spot, does not look very good. Uh, Carpenter looks much better than him from a third quarterback position. Now, why do you care? Well, you probably don't, but I figured I'd let you know anyway. Josh Johnson looks good. The problem is Josh Johnson's apparently afraid to take a shot down the field. He has been capped in check down uh, throughout camp, and that continued today. Um, now, whether there were guys open or not, I'm not sure. There certainly looked like there were opportunities. But whereas Josh uh, Freeman will take that shot down downfield, give his receivers a chance to make a play for him, Josh Johnson has not shown the willingness to throw the ball down the field, and he's taken the check downs. And while that's a safe move, I don't think that's a move that moves the ball down the field, not the way this offense is designed to work. So high points today, defensive line, defense in general looked very, very solid. Um, uh, not much from the offense. I didn't see a lot from the skill position players that, that popped. Uh, Mike Williams looked good, but he looks good every practice. Regis Ben was back out there. There was a report that Regis was not in any of the practices up to date, and that's not true. Uh, he wasn't in the padded practice yesterday, but he was in the practices before that. So 
all in all, young team looking good. If you're here in Tampa, make sure you get out there. Uh, I didn't see Ahmad Blackhoff at all. In fact, I don't remember seeing him on the field. I'm sure he was, but I don't remember seeing him on the field. Uh, I know a lot of you guys asked me to look for him. Jock Sanders was a question we've had from some of our listeners. Kid looks like he catches everything thrown to him, but I just don't think he can overcome the size differential. We've got a lot of really big, strong, and fast receivers, and I don't see him making it out there. Uh, the guys that I think are really at risk on the receiving core uh, are guys like Preston Parker, Michael Spurlock, and maybe up to and including uh, Sammy Strouder. Uh, these guys that are hybrids, that, that are slot only typically, or that are receiving threats and return threats with the changes in the rules in the kicking game, I think those are the guys that are going to get pushed by guys like Briscoe and Ed Gant and these other guys uh, if, they, if they put it on tape, right? Practice doesn't mean anything until you go put it on tape, and we'll get a chance to see that here coming up pretty soon. Uh, so that's the report from today at camp. Uh, won't be out there tomorrow. Tomorrow is special teams practice. I'm not going to be able to go out there. Be back out there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Give you guys a report every day. Hopefully you find these things useful. If you have particular players you want me to look for, let me know, and I'll try and do that. That's what I did with Jock and Ahmad, um, and, uh, and I'll do the best I can. Thanks for listening.